Datuk Sri Najib Razak has been sent back to the Kuala Lumpur Hospital HKL today for another round of tests following claims that he was suffering from stomach ulcers and high blood pressure. Health Minister Khairi Jamaluddin said this is being done to assuage his family members so that there is no dispute to the facility's standard of care and treatment. On claims by Najib's daughter Nuriana Najwa that a change in his medication was to blame for his high blood pressure, Khairi said it did not represent the real situation. The former Prime Minister, he said, was merely given the generic version of the patent drug that he was originally taking. Kyrie, however, expressed full confidence in the team of doctors that treated and attended to the former AMNO president over the weekend. Kyrie also denied claims that Najib would be transferred to the National Heart Institute IJN. He said that when Najib was warded on Friday, doctors had thoroughly checked and conducted several tests on him. Kyrie said that they had also shared and held conferences with the family, including Najib's wife, Datin Sri Rosma Manso, twice since then. Kairi said this after launching Malaysia's COVID-19 vaccination public-private partnership report at the ministry's headquarters today.